All right, we're live. Hello, everybody. So today we're gonna do something a bit different, and I actually need to slap some music real quick. Let's like, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I really, I really should have thought about this earlier, huh? <laughs> What's some chill music? Oh, I know. I know what I can put on. That's good. It's very sinister. Alright, either way, I probably need to put my headphones kind of away <laughs> because uh, the, the less the fewer the wires are the better because I'm a bit scared of this okay so this is the hitbox also I don't know why like is it gonna be better if I turn off this light no I think it's just the uh the, <laughs> the thing itself is just kind of fuck what if I go even is this no. Nope. <laughs> and you can like see the waves of it too. Uh, actually, you can see them less on this, but it becomes like <laughs> doesn't doesn't get better than that. All right, so we have box right. We do it on an angle. We have a screwdriver. Got my scissors. We're gonna do thing so first of all my printer is kind of ass and it doesn't really print things well as i will show you in a second there's gonna be a lot of chair noises because it'll be moving around quite a bit but so this is something i wanted to put on the thing and as you can see it has these weird lines on it uh the quality is still decent it's just it has lines i don't know why the way they do them is like they sell cartridges right like the printer itself is not even expensive at all it's less than like 20 bucks but they get their their thing mainly by just uh by selling these cartridges i started printing that maybe just the amount of color is gonna uh, let's try this one i'm gonna try this one because it doesn't have that much color on it so ideally maybe well it is letter no it's not a letter the standard size pen paper i'm gonna try the best quality the picture frame ah uh... no we're still gonna be cutting it down to size a bit i think it's slightly all right let's try this it's gonna yep Oh god, it's so loud! Uh, Alright, anyway. I got this little here, people. And it should be good enough to just get under. Just go. Right, let me try to start your side. Hope I don't ruin it. Hmm. Oh, come on. There we go. Round one. What is it like doing? Well, the switch is in. It's fine. It's like. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, the switch itself tried to detach. It's kind of funny. Right, I'm gonna keep these here. Because they are not needed right now. Slide this over. Alright. Always scared of these. I have a specific thing for pulling out switches. 
Maybe that will come in useful later. Hopefully not. Also, one thing that I might want to do is there's these specific little little buttons. Yeah, like one of these little thingies. It's <laughs> It's kind of like it looks super scratchy, so I don't know if I really wanna get that anywhere close to the hitbox. At least the paper clip has rounded edges. Yeah, so one of these little things. And I'm hoping that I can slap that onto the start button. Well, no, never mind, because it is still a button. It's not like it's, uh... What's the button? That actually is looking kind of good. Despite the lack of... Did the black cartridge just completely stop existing? You know what, that might be the best one. She is kind of naked, but... <laughs> but that's what she just does. Uh, why is it like... It's laid up there now, that's not in the regular image now, is it? Yeah. It like the printer totally lacks black ink. Hold on, let me let me see. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not really the type of printer that you can... Oh boy. Switches are so easy to get out, maybe... That's why it does this little crackling thing. I'm trying to be careful with this. I really don't want to break it. There we go. Down nicely. On to the next one. At least I assume I'd need to take these out. Like you'd think you would, right? Funnily enough, the <laughs> the reason I got this version with more buttons is because if there is a chance that one of these breaks, I can simply substitute. Like, okay, well, I obviously use this for a jump. Right, this is just I'm used to, it. and I, I don't use this much. If a key uh, if a key breaks, I just swap them. The same with these training buttons. It's like, well, it will need one press once in a blue moon really to replay like are you doing a jump or sure you or something. It's not really going to be, you know, not really going to be that important. Oh, you see the ones that are heavily used. I was just about to say that they jump out just fine, but no. You don't want them to jump out either. You want to kind of just sit snugly in there. It's come. The, the whole thing is coming out. I hope that didn't break anything, but it looks like it's fine. Alright. Ah, cue to the... <laughs> cue to the point. Or I have to... <laughs> oh, there we go. I got the gist of it. Uh, where I have to, like, <laughs> completely pull out every single keycap. See, this, this thing, despite it being a budget-ish hitbox, it's also wasn't really cheap. So, breaking something like this isn't great. Alright, I'm gonna put this in here. Alright, 
There are so many keycaps. Well, not keycaps, but the buttons. I want you to see them. It is like... Yep. You, you really don't realize it until it's all laid out like this. How many buttons you actually got on one of these loverless controllers. I will put this button here. Okay, so, uh, while that is happening, I can probably slap something else to print. Uh, I wanted to get one of these little, like, on these little things, but I wanted them to be kind of tiny. The reason why I want to cut it all out, but those chibi designs usually have thick lines. Okay, so that out of the way. I think it's time when we start unscrewing the whole thing. Yeah, it comes with nice, these nice little rubber legs. It's gonna fit, yeah. Alright. I might be a little schizo about this. Did I just actually print good? Uh, there is no black ink, like, at all. But it works, it's fine. It's not too bad. But yeah, once again, I might be a bit... It's about this, but I will put them... I'll try to organize which one comes from which side. So that they sort of fit back into their original place. This is if... Assuming... The text is on the right. Actually, uh, one thing that I should probably do is... Mm -hmm. Here it is. So this is the way that I see it, right? Instead of being flipped. My question is, is that something? I think that might be like a reset button. So I don't really want to burn them too much. Oh, come on, give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me, damn it. There we go. Okay, so nicely there's only a couple things in the middle. I'm gonna put my scissors here. Only two things in the middle. Now my other hitbox that is a uh, console compatible. I have always wanted a hitbox that has screws instead of studs. Because as I said, the previous one has studs and that one should have probably loosened the first something like that then. Or maybe work from corners. That is probably my biggest mistake here because the middle is starting to rise up a bit. And that is getting slightly more difficult to open it all up. These little screwdrivers really are like an uh, ingenious little invention. Simply holding on to the top and well, it, I might need to put some grease in there. You can hear how it hits. <laughs> it really doesn't want to be turned. It's just a piece of plastic, really. I probably yep, can pull this off. See if I can <laughs> clean it off. Oh. That's a tiny bit there. Something probably got stuck inside. Well. I don't think I've ever told you the story about how I accidentally keyed my 
very first hitbox. The one that I, I bought and it was like, let's say like 30 bucks. And accidentally, uh, I had this hoodie on with a metal zipper and <laughs> I accidentally scratched it. It either was that or shorts. I don't remember. But I think not long while after it completely stopped working on me. Mm. As much resuscitation I tried to give it, it would not yield and just stop working completely. Okay, so there we go. So that's the back clip. And the I guess you can see through it quite well. All right. How well we, I assume. Hold on. Let me try to keep this thing on first. So the next part is gonna. Ooh. Okay. Well, these are the screws. Just simply fell off, and I need to make sure <laughs> that I also. Keep them correct way. Mm -hmm. I assume these were like this. Yeah. Right, so now we have this front plate, if I'm not mistaken. All right, and this is the. Take one of these here. <laughs> the sound was amazing. It's oh wow, it's still damp. What is? Is that mold? Is that mold? <laughs> Hold on. Oh, is it because it was damp it got moldy? All right. Uh, throw that into the. To the corner. One of these instead. Yeah, there were just black spots on it. I guess because of the way that I folded it. The more you know. I assume acrylic is fine with the screen cleaner. It was just simply alcohol based. Well, I am already leaving a fingerprint. That was the entire reason why I wanted to do this. Honestly, I shouldn't have done this just yet. The reason why is because I will probably use it as a stencil to see which things I want to cut out. Alright, now that is out of the way. Oh, just, just why not? Why not? I will put this on here. Nice little soft surface. And... Okay, so I, I think we might actually want... Let's see, I do want to try to print this one as well. Alright, so let's see what is going to look the best. I think I'm gonna take this away. We'll get our front plate, or basically a stencil. And I'm going to do this. This is how it's going to be facing. And these are the parts that we'll need to cut out. Actually, no. It should be... Oh god. Oh, I really want to minimize touching the surface of it. Mm. That looks relatively cool, but once again, the, the lack of black ink really shows. Let me change the cartridge and I will print this out again. 
I will change the cartridge to the old one. Yeah, maybe there is some ink left. It really is 14 bucks for that, huh? You can't be serious. You know what? No, I, I think this is the. Uh, this is the only chance we've got. And for how easy it is to disassemble, it is all right practice. Bro. It's all right for practice. This little thing. Some of these little. Quite useful. Probably a mechanical pencil. But I can put it all in. This one bold, but very trusty little thing. So it's either that one that looks pretty nice, actually. Or this one. I like this one too. A bit hornier. I like this one too, but what is the way it works best? I guess I could just slap it underneath instead. Oh well. Let me see. First, I probably want to cut into this real quick. Oh, you see, it's a lie, because it. I guess it kind of substituted. I need more light, I'm sorry. I just simply need more light. I guess it kind of substituted black for a different other colors. Oh man, this one's super angular. I like the little idea. Of well, if you've seen my other hitbox, Bridget on it, uh, I have these tiny little stickers on it, and I really do like that aesthetic. Oh, there's gonna be a lot of a lot of paper waste through here, but not really an issue. Actually, funnily enough, I would want to probably, if you can see this, that little part where the cami's hair is, I think I might want to try to pierce that. I will not ruin my mouse pad and <laughs> try to do it on top of it. So, let's try to do it here. We'll also test how easy it is. Beautiful. Yeah, that's fine. That's good. The main use for it, either way, is to make a hole where I can cut these from later. out of paper like this in a long while.
I wish I could show this, but there isn't really a great way of doing it so that the camera can see it. I'm almost, almost halfway done. There we go. I will at some point probably do, uh, do it on photo paper. The quality is gonna be immeasurably better. I have a couple manga panels for it, but I don't know, it just, it, it didn't look great. I tried to see how it would look, but it just didn't, didn't look good. Cutting into this is gonna be spooky. Oh, now we're good. I think this sticker type paper application is also going to make it look pretty nice. Because it's going to fill out this little space right here. And... It's going to look a bit more dimensional. I'll show you in a bit. I think I have a... I need to stop dragging this piece of paper around with me. There we go. I don't know what we're gonna play tonight. Thinking more Street Fighter since I'm a bit more awake than I was yesterday. We can actually play some Yuri Rank. Like I wanted. I think that practice against that GIF really got me back into the groove of things. Yeah, the lines are 
definitely it's making this look not too great. Off a bit. It's all temporary anyway. Thing is, if I want to make it look better, probably have to. There's like an order type website that I can get at my place. <clears throat> Otherwise I'll have to look for somebody with photo paper printer. Alright, there we go. There we go. It's almost it's almost done. Vision of looking is gonna straighten out of the way. Bam! Something like this. It's really cute. It actually has that, like, because of the lack of black lines, it kind of has that pastel feeling to it. Like, it's actually just all paper. Oh, nice. I like it. Oh, there's also this one, but I don't think it's gonna look that good. <laughs> the one from Pop Team Epic. Ah, uh, yeah, it doesn't. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah. No way, man. All right. Either way, let's get this little thing out of here. And so what we're gonna do is let's see how I would like to position it. Unfortunately, it cut off that piece. One of our hairs. I would like a hard button, but that's obviously not gonna happen. So let's position it kind of like this, and uh, maybe like a bit more like so. Yeah, let's take this left angle. Up. Hi, Hamza, how are you doing? <laughs> I should want some cut to <laughs> Exactly. Now, there we go. How you doing? Let's see. Should be good. Then. Good. Love to hear that. Uh, let's see. There's going to be. Oh yeah, hold on. There's a screen too. Oh shit. Forgot about that. Expensive car, expensive house, but fun. Go living your best life. I'm making shit out of paper. Is I want to save those little circles also. Oh god, I forgot which one I did and I didn't do. Because I want to put them inside the buttons. I'm pretty sure the light is still going to go through and it might give a pretty nice effect. Always facing the old cars. 
but admitting the fact the most random shit breaks on them. <laughs> but even that, it's like, what about the parts? The older the car, the less parts are produced, right? So, that might get super expensive as well. Mercedes be like, let's make biodegradable wire insulation and then biodegrade and send your car. <laughs> yeah, they'd be like, wow, nobody's gonna drive in this for more than 20 years. Alright, let me double check. Did I get all of them? Am I or not? Am I or not? Am I or not? Yeah, that one I got. That one I got. That one I got. Oh shit. No, that was good. Alright, I think we're good. And... Drop the side. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. I didn't do these buttons. Okay, 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 no, not like this. Not like this. Which one did I fling? Oh, this one. Alright. We're good. It drives, though, with stick... Uh, stick button and goes, I simply ignore the rest and the rough. I don't <laughs> Hey man, as they say, if it fucks... There's a little button right here. I need to find a way to slap it on there. My AirPods didn't survive the second washing machine cycle. <laughs> oh, that was the second one. Hell yeah. <laughs> And yep, they're all there. They're all there. Now let's get to cutting. There you go. Well, I, well, I'm cutting that. I'll leave you with this. How about how about that? You can stare at this for a little bit. Let's see. Uh, let's cut the outside first, and then I'll. Get into the... Get into the... What do you mean? I'm just... Uh, I'm gonna put that on the back of a hitbox. It's just paper crafts. What do you mean? Don't imply anything mischievous now. I'm gonna get some burgers from McDonald's and McFlurry. Nice. Don't pull out your peanuts and start straight up jorking at it. Uh, <clears throat> hi, Noir. See, I need to get this corner. I really don't wanna, like... It, it's super delicate. Annoyingly. Oh god, how am I gonna do a screen on this? <laughs> like... Photo paper can survive quite a bit. Actually, let me fucking find it. Give me a second. I think I still have it up here somewhere. Wait a minute, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. So 
So this was the one from the very first hitbox. What about ever stretches really, really fast though? But it's gonna be under Plexi. So, I mean, it's on the thing, let me do it. So this was from the very first hitbox. And uh, I fucked up with the placement of buttons. So it's whatever. Well, I didn't adjust them, I just took the whole thing. But as you can see, at least the quality is really good. And again, this is probably temporary. I will actually get a super nice piece of art that I want. And I'll just do it. Right, let's continue. So, gotta get this into shape once again. The whole thing kind of got advertised with the ease of customization. Which I'm more or less putting to the test here. Alright, that's the lower part. Need to just run down the edges. at least in a general direction. There. Another couple of these. Alright, so the corners are done. Now the most stressful part. How am I gonna get this? Uh, let's start with the one that's in this wide area here. Use it, maybe. Oh god, how am I? How am I gonna do this without like? Maybe all right. Let me this way so I I actually have like some sort of a. Yeah, you, you have to just put it around the thing. Ah, I mean, there's also, there's also squares, but if I don't do it this way, let me show you. If I don't do it the way that I'm doing it right now, you see how there's a red switch? And the issue is that when you put this on it, you can see the red dot. Now that's annoying to me. Because I don't want that red dot. I know, as a Tarkov player, heresy. But in this context, I don't want it. If it's just like 
small enough for scissors. Oh, there we go. Again, it's not gonna be perfect. Funny enough, I actually don't remember how I did this on the previous one. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's actually kind of nice. Let me put it on my... Like, right in front of me so I have a better time fitting it. You can look on this. At this. Look at them. There we go. If I do fit the scissors through this, it's going to be better. Maybe not this kind of fucking scissors, nope. Nuh uh. Nuh uh. I guess we're out here using this then. There's not much else I can do. like annoying part is probably gonna be the screen because I'll have to relatively eyeball it I think I was thinking like what if I take like a drill bit of similar diameter uh, like no that's a bad idea you can't drill paper Well, conceptually, you always do, because paper is just wood, but in practice, that's not going to work. If you all have an idea for chill soundtracks, we can do that. By the way, it doesn't just have to be Mechanica, so it's the, as much as- You know what is good? Victoria got a good OST. I can't hear it, so if it's like a fake and not even factorial, please let me know. If it's a big booby jingles, then... Oh, you're, you're never gonna tell me if it's a big booby jingles, huh? I know you. You're gonna sit there and silently enjoy it. So you can see bit by bit. Uh. All right, now we're gonna check before I go the whole, the whole thing. I'm gonna check how it looks. If it doesn't look good, well, I'll do my my duty either way. All right, there's one. Put this here. There we go. Let's see. Mm. Alright, I need to put back. Bam. Bam. Now let's see. 
I did fuck up on a couple of corners, but that's not an issue because the background is indeed white. Yeah, I think it's decent. You can't really see the shortcomings of it. And now, the interesting part is gonna be fitting E then. No clue how to do it. I just squeeze it in. Because it might uh, clog up the. Uh, interesting. I guess the switch is still gonna be red. Oh boy. We have a tester! We have an additional switch we can see. Let's go on this way. Nah, we'll have to cut it. We'll shrimply have to cut it. Once again, I guess it's not really an issue. Alright. Gotta, gotta keep, keep going. This is the back play with the titty one, it's not gonna be like, uh, that difficult. I don't think so. You know what I didn't do? I should have marked out these these buttons, this plate, and uh, roughly where the screen is. Going. Let me do this. Way. There we go. All right, now you can see, and I think it's relatively relatively. Can I like, block this? No, I can't. It's not really. Quite a bit of practice working with drywall. These knives too. It's still kinda hilarious to me how like how can you just cut a wall with a knife like that? You're really expecting that shit to hold up when the wind blows? I swear, carrying that shit on windy weather, chances are you're gonna fly on your own. You're building a house out of that? No, I know what you're gonna say, and I know, it's good for insulation, it's, it's an interior thing, but... It's something to think about. This knife is very nice. I got this whole ass kit of um, pencils, and there's a neater eraser in there, and this this thing. And you just sharpen pencils by yourself. Which I gotta say, it's very nice. It's like, it really adds to the experience of sketching something. It's like, oh, you gotta sharpen your pencil. Some people might get annoying, for me it was more fun than anything. Although I did only sharpen one pencil. There's like 20 of them in the kit, I'm like, you know, one is enough, it's an HB. It's like... It's a good all-purpose type pencil. Make sure to remember, because we'll have to remember which one corresponds to which hole. 
That's gonna be kind of fun. Ah, I'm over exaggerating, shouldn't be that bad. Coming to think of it, why did I. Why did I even cut the holes? I just cut like. little dots and then squeeze. It. No, it's gonna deform the paper and it's gonna look ass. Yeah. There is simply no alternative. You want a thingy to look good? Oh man, that's a... That's a turn. Alright. That's two. Okay, well, we didn't go that far. Quickly, but where the star and other holes are. Once again, check. Looks good, looks quite good. Right, why not by the end? Don't line up the window. Yeah. I was so. Maybe just make like a hole in each one. I'm gonna mark it out. Maybe smart to spin the whole thing around once I get there. Make it a little longer, maybe. I still think I have a bit more control when going this way. Right, am I like... no, I'm good. I was like, am I perpetually cutting my fingers with this? <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's dull enough. It's dull enough. Maybe it wouldn't have been... dull before I sharpen a pencil, but I'm pretty sure it is dull now. Well, reasonably dull. Still cutting paper like a champ, just... So the type of sharpness where I just touch the blade. And instantly bleed. I've looked at a few images of like people customizing their hitboxes and sticks and such. People have really funny taste. 
I'm not gonna name the specifics, but I'm sure if you look for different hitboxes and stuff. <sighs> I feel like this controller customization is the primary objective for a lot of people when it comes to getting one of these things. It's not bad, I mean, there's different ways of enjoying the hobby. For me, I mainly do it that when I look at my lap where I'm holding my hitbox, it looks nice. I'm playing the game. So, that's where I mainly am coming from. Alright, now it's getting a bit annoying. To hold it this way. Oh, okay. I didn't, I didn't have the ghost. One advantage of like the other hitboxes is that you just can't see through the button. On this one, not so much. I got a bit annoyed because uh, I, I watched the review on this. The box that I got, and it's like, oh wow, they're quite, uh, quite nice reviews for it. But, like, it's, it's a good budget one, and yada yada yada. But <laughs> a couple of days later, they come out with like a new version that doesn't have red switches. I actually might need to order more switches. Because, because I don't think these are default keyboard ones. They're they're flush, they're really small. And I'm thinking like if it's a limited supply well I guess Sano's been there for a long ass while and I'm still able to get more buttons, so it's not Maybe I'm overthinking it. What is happening? Is it supposed to be on purpose? Or is my... No, it was in the video. Is my PC okay? Oh no, I hate when this happens. <laughs> There's a tiny little thing that's uh... Let me organize them a bit so that I know which one is which. Yeah. At least like five minutes. Alright, on to the next one. We only have... Oh god, so many left! <laughs> Sick. There's an interesting balance of holding the whole thing under tension, but obviously not tense enough that it rips. I wouldn't care if I didn't run out of ink on my printer. <laughs> Because if I do fuck this up, I have to put the booby one on the top. I'm gonna go find a place on Monday. There we go. Ah, that's a quarter. Quarter circle. 
Okay, I, I can't. You can't just. You have to hold it. I'll mess it up now. Uh, I think I don't know. I don't know. It's fine. It is fine. Oh man. Maybe I shouldn't just pull the blade out. Oh, there we go, alright. Yeah, I think this is... The new strat. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, don't turn it! At least not immediately. Yeah, 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 there it is. Unless I gotta reposition. I need to turn it. Hmm. Very upsetting that I have to cut the heart in half. I'm telling you, the performance in the fighting game is going to increase at least by 10%. Once this is done, set up. Don't believe me? And how come you get better at streaming when you have uh, all these like LED lights and shit? It is shrimply inexplainable. Alright, on camera they look pretty pretty good. If I look closely then there is some fuck ups, but it's alright. It's very I know, it's a very labor intensive. Also that's cute. Look. He's like staring into your soul. Paper, no scratches. Come on, get into the... I might wait on maybe printing out something, because, you know what, I'll try to draw jury again. I've been practicing recently quite a bit. Maybe I can make something that looks good. Like, good enough. 
Although I have I have a feeling that I will never be satisfied with any of the images that I draw personally. I think it's mainly the composition. Ooh, no, oh, that's good. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. The one entry that I didn't. I think it's mainly composition. Should have done something a bit more interesting. talking about I drew for a contest so if you want it you can, you can go on Twitter and like it I uploaded it if you want if you like if you don't want it. I just vote for whoever is in the like. there's plenty of really good art in there I know I kinda got no chance. It is okay, it's been fun to me. I was thinking like, oh, maybe if I did nothing but draw for the whole month in practice, then maybe I would have done so. No, if I did that, I would have, like, burned out so quickly. You know, at least I'm proud that I finished this. It's one thing. Is a cool tool. I don't see people do stuff. It's like you really gotta buy these specific things. Like, how do you even get these? And then I, I get something like this or that tiny escudo. I'm like, you know what? Maybe just acquire them throughout life randomly. These tiny useful things. It's not necessarily like a good watch or something like that that would last you a long while, but it's useful. And things align such as never expected that you use these things. Like I never expected like when I when I got this gift and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna be cutting out a box art with the snow. That seems like the best tool for the job so far. There we go. Back from McDonald's. Nice! As you can see, we are... No, oh, the god, the ghost is jailed. Look at him. Uh, we've got through three buttons. It's already quite good. Right, and I didn't fuck up the art too much. I'm just afraid that I'm, maybe I should have. Ah, dude, if I put surgical gloves, it's gonna look like I'm committing a crime. <laughs> uh, nah, it's fine. It's fine. Once again, it's just, it's just for fun. Uh, one, two. Yeah, I need two more here. There's one at the top. 
let's start. Let's do this one later. Uh, I kind of want to go with the. Uh, you know what? We could do these. Let's do this. I think I can see it quite well. As I say that, the line disappears in my vision. Put on your gaming gloves. The only... The only thing that is close enough to a gaming glove that I have is this. Just the... And you draw. They don't scratch. It's not that like you don't scratch, it's that like you don't accidentally, like, uh, activate. There it is. This thing. Alright, anyway. Mm -hmm. Oh, which one was I cutting? This one. I was like, oh, I'm gonna be extra careful because it's the middle of the hitbox, of the bases, there's a lot of stuff happening. Immediately the most jagged ass line that I, that I did. It's fine. It's okay. Oh. Are you all doing what you've been up to? Or are you playing Elden Ring again? Making a gardener? The dark gardener? <laughs> it's so funny, I saw uh, the summon skeleton spell, I was like Wow, maybe I can be a necromancer in Elden Ring. No, there's like... There, there, there's nothing to facilitate doing that. I did only a couple of bosses in the DLC. Noir has beaten the whole thing, so please, no spoily. Oh, I know you guys wouldn't, but I gotta just say it. Uh, how do you like it so far, and what bosses you've beaten? Uh, I've beaten... Uh, got the Beast. I've beaten the... It's like Rana Is it Rolana? I think it's Rolana. The one cool, like, magical boss. And uh, the Hippo. I think they're really cool, and I, I like this DLC a lot, because I, I also really like the base game. So it's just for me it's just more of the same but of like the good same. So I I'm not complaining. Oh dude that one is no it's just the way to watch. It's all fine. Alana sister of Renala. Yeah, they definitely rock the same fit, that's for sure. Love the DLC, the map being so layered and then for the one is super cool, reminds me of DS1. Oh yeah, one of the really cool moments was... Um, I don't remember which castle we explored with me and right? There's that one part where you get into a coffin in the castle and then it brings you back to the overworld.
I think that was a really cool moment. I was I was asking Noir to play Lies of P, and then Dark Souls DLC comes out. It's like, yeah, he's he's not gonna play that for quite a long while now, because he's he's gonna play Elden Ring. Then he's gonna be like, oh shit, I gotta practice Street Fighter, and then he's gonna be practicing Street Fighter for like half a year until he gets more Souls cravings. I know you, I know how you are. How oh, you know me so well. I think by the time I get to discuss Lies of P with you, I'll have to replay the whole game myself. No, that's not, the com that's not a complaint. I'd love to replay that game again. I don't know if I'd be able to replay it on stream now. That's an issue because it's it's quite demanding, but it runs pretty good. Maybe if I lower it to 30 FPS. I hate the, uh, the pressure after finishing a FromSoft game, waiting for the next thing. <laughs> Or you can always just make another character, but I see what you mean. It's always like the the, the wow of exploration, sort of. Man, I think one of the coolest moments in Elden Ring, like when it's uh, when you start playing it, is finding a map. Because uh, I remember on release, like thankfully, I think who got me the I think I think you Hansa got me the game. Thank you very much, by the way. Uh, and I was like, because we were exploring Limgrave, and you get the map later, and it's just another chunk of the game, BAM! Like, you're like, holy shit, there's so much more, it's not even like Limgrave. That's probably why people felt, uh, like it was like, oh, there's not a lot of stuff to do in the, in the overall, I'm like, dude, there's, the, the map is fucking huge. There's so much you can do. Like, you, you're you used to the fact that on every turn there's like a small item or something. Uh, you get hyped for the game DLC, have a blast playing it, then you finish it and you just have no fun playing anything else. Make a lot of characters. You live in a randomizer with my friends. Oh, is the, uh, is the seamless still working? Can they cut down on that or something? Randomizer is probably kind of fun. Like, maybe not the enemy randomizer, but like the item randomizer. It's like, oh, what you gonna find? Leon Beast at the bottom of the Lumgrim was both. Oh no. Yeah, the uh, update the Simus Club on here. That is a preferred way for playing for a lot of people, so. I see why. Alright, so this is top left. Yeah. Alright, don't knock anything out. Everything is in. Oh no. Alright, no. Gotta make sure that each screw is in the correct spot. No. It's sticking to me, they're too damn light. Some of the new stuff in the DLC broke the mod, but they fixed it and they added animation so the players can now invade you even with the mod.
Oh god, this is thick. I think I flip it. No. Our invasions will, uh, that will turn into s <laughs> into s uh, not so nice time to play more. Oh, invaders. Okay. <laughs> I mean, we've done pretty. We, we fucked them up pretty good, I think, last time. Johnny Pickles isn't really the best anti-invasion combatant, but the other character is pretty good at it. Now, one thing I need to know is... Do invasions take into the account gear and or level? Um, the more I think about it, the more it's like... Well, I kinda don't want to level, because fucking up these guys is pretty good. Oh god. So it's both. I see. It's sort of interesting how, like, you can see the way they experimented with it. It's like Dark Souls 1, only level. Well, that wasn't great, because the equipment matters way more. <laughs> And then they did Soul Memory, which not a lot of people like, because you can't even co-op on Soul Memory. Okay, let's do both then. They did both. There's still workarounds, but... And then later with gear level plus... 15, uh, plus 25, plus 10 here, can I let anyone under? I see. I definitely need to grab like an energy drink. <laughs> my my Pavlovian response of oh I'm live, I need to crack an energy drink is like making my mouth salivate. Soul level has specific ranges and calculate and shit. Then after a certain level and level requirement drop, because there wouldn't be enough people to invade at six round fifty or something. I remember right? Yeah, I see. I see. Yeah, that's actually a really good idea. Because at some point, there's just not enough people. But mainly you gotta let the, the newbies breathe and people with lesser weapons. Anybody above? Oh, that's fair game. Although it is still kind of funny, like, imagine somebody having, uh, 
Rivers of Blood plus 25, and the other guy has like a short sword plus 25. They're not really on the equal footing. Actually, I don't, I don't even know. They might have completely nerfed the shit out of them. Rivers of Blood, if anything. There's the DLC after not playing for really long. The Divine Beast fucking over. I haven't tried solo yet, but I need to. One thing that helped me get into the group of things is the character that I play like mostly and I wanna get like a lot of items on. Uh didn't get a lot of stuff and wasn't really up to level for the DLC. So I was doing a lot of co-oping. Is the character that I tried to get Millennia's Divine Rune as fast as I could. So I was able to help people and like figured out how to dodge her effectively. So that was a little exercise before the DLC. Why Millennia's? Because I wanted Bloodborne. I want. I was like, wow. I if I if I make if if I make it there and then play the rest of the game with Millennia's Great Rune, I was like. Oh, it's not that good. I did her before we're done, it's so like relatively quickly. I had to do a little bit of cheesing, but well, not on Millennia specifically. Just in general, like getting soul stuff. That Mog farm, by the way, is like super effective. I've been just leveling up weapons for fun. I'm like, oh, you know what? This this weapon kind of looks fun to use. I'll slam it to plus twenty five. Oh, plus twenty four. I mean, twenty five is at <laughs> every like every time you use an ancient stones. I think the highest tier is Ancient, because there's Normal Stone and there's Somber Stone, which are basically Twinklies. I'm not aware of a way to replicate them indefinitely. I doubt there is. My first run uh, last year was a cheese festival. <laughs> the cheese festival! We got Placidus Saxon in the small church at Volcano Manor where the gods can up us so that we can see him. Just finally fly and sweep back. <laughs> oh, I think Jerma got it in the same spot and like he got stuck in the ceiling somewhere. So they kind of got lucky. Yeah, Yeah, we tried everything, he just fell off the map at some point. possible to paint these switches though because I really don't want red. This was this part here. So I gotta put it I guess if that one was that white part was underneath. This was here. 
And Lionel Catacombs, where the mock double is, he was replaced with Lich Dragon for the second two. I was waited outside the arena, I went in and gave him a scarlet rod and just waited till he died. <laughs> nice. No, I gotta love the cheese strats. Riker's first phase was replaced with a fire giant. <laughs> Second phase came in and it was done. Oh! Well, I assume you had quite decent builds at least, because randomizer probably allows you for some funny items early on. Although, Rikar is pretty far in. Like, what? what is good enough to beat, like, fire giant and Radon back to back? Randomizer is fine. <laughs> you have like two talisman pouches? Oh god. Yeah, that's that's no good. So you have to wait. So is it is it you have to specifically find uh, a random ass talisman and increases your death? This is not really weapons. You have to specifically find Margit in order to get the talisman, right? It's not that you have to beat uh, that uh, like pre pre castle boss fight to get it. That's a reward that is tied to Margit. Yes, all Talisman Pudge and Memory Stones and all important items are randomized. That's... That's interesting. Talisman Pudges could be anywhere. Oh, so it's like a normal ass item? I can see the situation of your friend, like, finding all of them immediately, and you're like, I have two for, like, the entire game. Literally a random ass cave where the item lays somewhere on the ground, all items are shared in the single squad. Oh. Alright, so we're this far in. I need one, two, three, four. And then we need a screen, a couple of these buttons. Buttons! I need to hold it at a bit of an angle. So if one picks up an item, you can pick it up too, and it's the same, you'll share the same randomized seats. Oh, that's, that's, that's kind of neat. So there's no, like, <laughs> uh, although I don't, I don't think that it would be, like, that cheesy if you would have different ones. So it'd be like, okay, well, I found, like, this item that's, like, super good for the kind of character that you're doing. It's like, yeah, you know what, give that shit to me. What did I just do? Look something. Also, I have like no clue. Is it possible to find even blades like this? Because this is super thin. Like, I assume this is, it's probably fine. It's just an office supply, whatever. I'll look for them because. It's mostly about bosses, I think. It breaks fully if your mates got different bosses or enemies than you. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's that's no good. It's 
speaking of like stuff like this, uh, me and I tried this co-op mod for Ocarina of Time, I think. Yeah, Ocarina of Time. And it was not even co-op, it's just like you kind of run around next to each other. It was like not even close to co-op, it sucked. Like how can you call that co-op if you just have different enemies, basically you're like a shadow. It's like in the new Mario game if I'm not mistaken, where like... Online co-op is just like, you're racing to the finish, where you can see like the shadows of people. Games like Dark Souls and even Borderlands is like the games where co-op is really done right because you can just like in Borderlands you can just join and you're just there with a friend it doesn't matter like your level or whatever you're just playing together also I'm cutting off Jiri's ear I'm sorry Jiri Dark Souls as well you can, you can just kind of play although I do. The, the more I think about it, the more I'm glad they made Remaster, because that... Uh, that co-op system before, without the password and without the improvements, is, to quote Jeff Keighley, abysmal dog shit. I don't know if he said that, maybe. Maybe he said that. Um, <laughs> some random undead noble got replaced with the ancient dragon from Azula. He f he's everywhere. Oh, so it's it's specifically like just a random ass hollow is now permanently the guy. Oh, that's that stinks. You really are the dragonborn, always fighting the dragon. Did anything replace the goats for you? Like the goats, the sheep? They're just everywhere. Uh, I don't know. Yes. Oh wait, no, that's, that's a yes to a different question, never mind. Bosses got switched in between, and normal enemies got switched in between. So if a dragon is replaced by a hollow, every hollow is not a dragon, if the siege dragon, the single dragon is now a hollow. Oh, oh, they got switched around, huh? Oh, animals only get switched in between. Enable it, I think, but that would be the same. So that place at the Volcano Manor that has a fuck ton of goats. Every bird and every ledge being a dragon. That would be horrendous.
No, I, I have no idea how I'm gonna do this. It's crazy. It's gonna be. I could light it up and then, like, trace the light from underneath. That could be possible. Two more, okay. The very first cave you spawn in, we get a tutorial cave like cave when the boss is Mark. <laughs> oh yeah, cause Margaret has a non-boss variant, right? Ghost Mario that appears when you kill a hollow and land all yeah. I can't see the damn line! I can't see the damn line. Let me do this real quick. Uh, that's not... no, that's... That is uh, not a good... There we go. That's a bit better. Still not completely straight, but... To finish the game, you gotta get two great runes and to land all the thing you use most of the hardest challenge. Wait, really? You have to find two great runes? So any of the two... I thought you had to kill all boss, like all main bosses. Yes, even the base game land all doors are sealed and you need at least two great rooms. I wonder if the Renala one counts. Let's go back to Mechanicus. Damn, I really, really been, <laughs> been going at it for quite a while now. Huh? Well, it's fun. We have the least amount of, well, I could say the least amount, but not necessarily because there's still buttons to attach, and they like, cut into it. It's gonna be a bit weird because I, I I don't want the red to poke out. But...
All right, let's see. Has the quality of the holes dropped? A little bit. Uh, not necessarily. I mean, you won't be able to see them. It's not like the edge matters that much. Well, some people. All that matters, but talking about the edges. Weird ass angle. All right. Oh no! 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 Wrong! Wrong direction. Salvage it. that this is not going to be visible. Alright, that's most of them. Now we gotta get the screen, now we're gonna get this one for the back, and should be good. So, <clears throat> let's do the following. Since it's basically the same size, I'm gonna leave this here for now, it's basically the same size, this way, or this way. It actually doesn't matter. Oh dude, it, it, it printed it out so badly. I guess we just have to do it like this, huh? Alright, let me try to adjust it so that this is the... uh-huh. So width-wise it's perfect, but the... No, the yeah, the, the width. The height needs to be I'm pushing it with mechanical pencil. There we go. I didn't draw on the mouse pad. No. Alright, I think that's good. Yeah, that's good. Okay. I'm gonna cut this. I know we still gotta do the buttons, but this is my way of taking a break, kind of. Just like change and do something else instead. Mm, maybe I should cut off this piece. It seems like too. Yeah. at least print it blue eye.
Oh yeah, I should I should be doing it here. And this one. It's fine. Oh <laughs> no! No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Scissors, scissors didn't explode. It's okay. Okay, now this. Now I need to bring over the actual thing, not the plexi. Alright. Pretty good, pretty good. But now, let's try to mark out where the screen would be. So if we are, wait, is it see through? If it's see through, then that even be better. No, it is completely solid. Now I could do the smart thing and measure it. Could be smart. Also, can you pull this off? Oh, yes! Alright, okay, replace that cap. Hell yeah. Okay, that's better. Because that's the one you're gonna be pressing the most. This is the. This is the restart, and this is the start. Right? Man, I'm, lo I'm loving this. This is very nice. Because it's like. You can just change things in your like. It's good. Alright, uh. Fucking turbo button is useless. Uh, so it is. Let's see how. What is the best way to do it? You know what? Let me let me be smart. I'm gonna measure. I'm gonna measure how much it is. Okay, it is. It is five. It's eight millimeters from the turbo button. Oh, no, no, hold on. From the center of the turbo button, it's one and so twelve millimeters, thirteen millimeters. Yeah, there are thirteen millimeters. From the top, it is nine nine millimeters from the top. This button right here, it would be 12. Uh, no, I said 13 or 14. I think from the center, roughly it would be one. Like this. Uh huh. And then from the top, it would be nine. Make it perpendicular and mark out a nine. The length of it is, let's see, the length of it is... Two and a half. Alright, at least something in the... How tall is it? It's one and a half, so two and a half by one and a half. At least there's some certainty. So once again, two and a half, perpendicular, oh no, this, this, there we go, this one instead, by one. I gotta make sure that it's 
least correctly. Yeah, that one was a bit off. <laughs> All right, good, good stuff. This is actually really fun to do. Um, <laughs> so this is customizing shit. Kind of fun. All right, now we're back. You see, I marked it out. Get the cut. On. I'm pretty sure that this one is not really going to be. Yeah, I'm not gonna take the middle part. So, but cut it as best as I can so that the. The edge is good for this. See, it's gonna be under plex, he's gonna be under pressure. This this one is just an annoying one, but it's a... I think I definitely got a bit better at this. All right, now the circles. Finger a bit with this, but it's alright. Sound like it punctures or anything. Oh no, this is this is bad. Don't tear it off. Don't tear it off. You're putting the stress on the paper, even though there's a weak spot there. It doesn't wanna. I want to go. There we go. Alright. This can go. Here's the pile. Now we need four more. Oh boy, maybe I should just cut out like a. Like a row of these. No, it's not gonna. Mm. Maybe, I don't know. So it's like. A nice. Like this. So there's gonna be four buttons here, right? Cut out like a nice row. Ah! Um, do I wanna, or just individual buttons? Let's see how it looks. Let me check how it looks. Oh, 
Oh, never mind. It just needs tiny ass holes. Okay, we're, we're bringing this here. We're bringing this here. It literally just needs tiny holes. I'm an idiot and I realize that you can just take off the button. You can just take it off. And what's gonna happen is... All you need... There we go. Nice. Now let me use the mechanical pencil. Probably just poke these out. Oh, they're a bit thicker than that, but... Ooh, no, 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 not like this. when it cuts I don't have to apply much pressure to it there we go there we go it's gonna be hidden behind the buttons either way I, I, I need to cut them a bit wider than they are right now. Because I'm simply gonna damage the paper if I don't. And I thought it would be that simple. Oh yeah, one thing is I need to poke a couple holes for the screws, that's the main thing. Dude, it looks great! Alright. Hmm. Well, I shouldn't tighten it just yet. Because there's also that part. Oh yeah, so, the reason why I wanted that is because... Let me show you. So that one's just off. Uh-huh. And then once we press. Yeah. There we go. Alright, that's that's pretty cute. It does get lost a bit. Maybe if I put it uh, like here. Oh no, this is like an empty kind of place where nothing is going on. It is her hand there, but eh. <laughs> That'd be cute. No. Here? Oh, let's leave it like this. Yeah. In the corner. 
Good shit. Uh, let me poke some holes in this though. I don't know if I should do it on top, but... Do a couple. Yep, that's one. Is there more? Hold on. There's more here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there's one here, one here. Did I... I think I marked these out. I definitely mark these out. Huh? Spot does this. Spot? No. Yeah. And then where's the other one? Now, all we gotta do is clean it all up, so that I don't got any gunk on the inner side of this, and we're fine. And we can put the naked version on the bottom. Thank you for believing in me, right? If you don't believe in me, I'm gonna make you eat that black mold that's on the other side of the room on a little paper like this. Yeah, I for some reason got like mold on it. I just throw that thing away. Well, I know why I left, I left a little towel. Wait inside a container for a while. Alright, you don't need to be scared, you believe in me. I might need this for correction for a little bit. Okay, now that, now that this is in, look how nice this looks. Okay. Uh, right. Bam. Uh-huh. Oh. Bam. Oh! <laughs> Hold on. It's somewhere here. I don't want to lose the screws, so... And we'll have to 
flip it. It's already cloudy, I don't really see a reason of cleaning yet. Alright, now the question is, what do you think? This way? Or... This way? Mm. I'm thinking this is definitely... Mm, I don't know. That? This way? Head to the left. Alrighty. No. Head to the right. Hands on this one. And then let's see how it looks cloudy. It's not bad. Not bad. Okay, now once again, uh, I could just start screwing the map, uh, screwing them in. And pre poke a couple of holes. <laughs> Streamer, what the hell? Actually, one thing that needs to be done, that, that reset hole is completely covered up. At least I assume it's a reset hole. That'd be kind of funny if I need to reset it, I don't think. Oh, you covered the thing. Nah, it's it's fine. It's like if I need to reset it, then just pull me. Sure, paper can take it. All right. Uh, so. Like, there's a hair stuck under one of the one of the feet. Here is leg hair or something like that. To the corners first. I didn't get it quite in right. Is it not? Alright, this one doesn't want to go in for some reason. The distance really that oh oh I see why <laughs> yeah you gotta hold it on the other side too it didn't have enough friction to stop itself from spinning there we go don't tighten it too hard because I don't want to make a curl like just explode Right, 
The hardest part is definitely gonna be the buttons. Oh no, 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 no. We got to the hardest part. It's just, I need to think of what I wanna do. I have acrylic paint, but it's not gonna like, it's not gonna really stick. I could like, just put a drop of it inside. Oh, oh right, why am I like trying to do this? It's, it's spinning underneath, I'm like, I thought I, I held it down pretty good. There we go. Man, having, having actual screws is so nice in the hitbox. What the fuck just happened? Something... Oh, oh, it's one of these. There we go. The other ones are pretty... Pretty good. We need... The middle. I really like the way they built it. It's pretty secure around this spot as well with two screws. Wait, no, this was for the right one, I think. No, this was for the left one. This, um... What? It actually looks pretty good. Like, the back plate looks pretty good. I haven't looked that much at the front, but... Let's take a look at it again. Take one of these things. I'm gonna put a drop of. Uh, I want a drop of acrylic paint. It's gonna get in the way a bit, but I really don't like the red switches. Looks very nice. Thank you. Let me quickly cut this part because it's it's poking out quite a bit. Paper. Also, I want the ghost underneath. Oh, this mouse pad? Yeah, it's very cute. Look, there's a... There's another cute one. Oh, those are some ghosts. It's kind of shaped like a switch. It's like, I, I need a big mouse pad and I got this one. Alright, uh, I'll need... Actually, I'll keep this... I'll keep this pin for taking off the buttons. Uh, I guess I don't really need to. Yeah. All right, now the question is, how do we do the buttons? Because putting them like this, as is, it would, would be cool, but I was cutting these out carefully, relatively carefully for a reason. can think about it with the one that I already ruined. Well, relatively ruined. We can just... You know what? Yeah. Let's just make a little hole in the middle. Let's push this 
side. Gonna make those holes in the bottoms. Something that's not worth a shot. I think I have to cut it down the size because it doesn't. Uh... Oh, and it's <laughs> actually hold on. If I just do it this, way. yeah, and then the bottom. Can I jam this inside? No. I think what I'm gonna do later, not right now, but later, is I'm going to... Hmm, it looks, like, it looks a bit ass, but let me actually... Yeah. Try to straighten it out a bit. Can I just have this piece of paper? Yeah, it's fine. That is fine. The buttons are relatively cloudy. You can see still you can still see the red switch. That's fine. That's totally fine. Okay. Now let's do the work of putting all these back. Let's see. This is the ear. This is what? This is something. <laughs> no, this is a part of her hair right here. Yeah. This is a spiky bit. This is also some part of her hair. Uh... Alright, well, <laughs> we'll leave that for later. That's definitely the end of the little finger. Now we get to assemble her back. Wait. Oh! <laughs> There's no other thing. Okay. Okay, we'll find it. We'll find it eventually. So let's let's deal with these. With these two first. This button. <laughs> We gotta find a better way to cut it.
No, I think it intervenes a bit. Yeah, this one doesn't intervene because it lays underneath. that it's rough is not going to be seen underneath either way. Hold on. Uh, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't bother with this. You can still like hear the paper. Is it worth it cutting all of these? Maybe. Kind of. How about I just, I just keep it not like this? I just keep it like so for now. I think it looks good. The functionality is gonna be even better. Also, I will boot it up and show you this little screen because it is very important. Fit the square in a square hole? That's impossible. God. Let me take all of it. Maybe I'll figure out what to do for later, but... I think if I get rid of the red switch... I don't know, maybe I should just order different switches. That also... Possible. Or, you know what? It could be done. Make a square hole here instead of a circle. That is also a way to do it. But we learn, and that's okay. Now once I'm done, and I'll show you, we're gonna take a break, I'll grab myself a monster and we'll play some Street Fighter. I am really pleased with this. I think this is great. I might just sit down very carefully, like you can see, there's a little bit of that paper sticking out. Oh, monster, just a normal one. There's one monster I had, uh, 
<laughs> I had two of them. I think I have one of the two monsters that I, I'm talking about still in the fridge. And it's been there for like quite a few months. But the, the thing is, it tastes like Golgurt. And I don't know if I want to drink it <laughs> necessarily. It's like a sports one. It's weird, alright. I'm not sure. It's like blue and has like a, a guy. Uh, it doesn't have a guy, but it's just like a muscle on it, I think. Alright, everybody. Now, let's boot the damn thing up. Please remember, boot it up first, and then put everything back. Because I have a feeling that... It's, it's like, it's always like this. If you... If you've done something and haven't tested it before you put the instrument away, like... It always fucks up, like always. So we're not gonna do that. We're gonna like so, and pay attention to this one. I have way too many things to plug in. Actually, I can plug out the camera. Oh, the camera has decided to die because I touched it slightly. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, alright. Told you, but I think everything works. Let me go let me plug it. Oh come on now. Come on now. Alright, is it working? Let me go with you. There we go, alright. Let's back. Let's back, baby. No. There we go. Alright. There's a tiny little green thing. It works. Look at that. Look at that little creature. Dude, the refresh rate for the camera! It's amazing. All the screen is just a tiny little screen. It's whatever. Alright, now that that is out of the way. Let's see. Let me boot up the streets better. Well, actually, we don't have to boot up the street better because we can see left, down, up, uh huh. That one is, is up. Light punch, medium punch, punch. And kicks. All right, everything works. Great. Nice. So. Uh, I guess I should carefully uh, trim the sides, so to say. So we can do that. The okay, camera still works. I will tidy things up a bit tough. Failed prints and the printer itself. up and I want to do something else. Oh yeah, trim. Right, let's do trim it. Real quick. Let's see. Apply it very carefully. Sort of slide it like so. Man, I really don't want to... Oh, 
Well, not damaging the actual. Gotta do it. journey is a knot of short Okay, now there's this one right here, there's a tiny one. Oh damn, I'm just kinda shredding it a bit and I'm cutting it. Don't pay attention. I might I should have probably used the razor. This is the only part you know what? I'm gonna keep it as is the biggest one I've cut off. Because it was just sticking out and being all weird and stuff. But I think the rest of them is going to probably shave off with time. How the fuck did this happen? How did this happen? I think... Oh no. There we go. It holds. Alright, does it work? Okay, so this is the whole thing. This is the back with the titty, and this is the front with just her. And the little thing. The outline is missing because my printer didn't have black, but that adds a pastel quality to it. The, the lines are a bit weird looking, but hey, I mean, it's just... I would say it's temporary, but I think it looks pretty alright. So in conclusion, it took a couple of hours of prep and all the other stuff. So let me quickly prep all the other things. Alas, I'm returned to be granted audience once more. Yes, well, let me tidy things up a bit. And we're gonna play more Street Fighter. Buttons seem to work. There is no paper interference. I could leave you to look at it. Actually, I can just tidy up while speaking. But I will need to grab a monster as well. Alright. All this garbage. Turn it around. 
<laughs> oh, like flip it? Oh, you want to see the back side of it? Yeah, of course. Look, this is the back side of it. Oh yeah, look, it's sick. So this is my thing. With like a bunch of... Uh... And like, it keeps going! It keeps going! Like a whole ass satchel here. Very nice. It rolls back in. So you can flip it on your link bag and stuff. There's a spider in my boot. They actually comes with a bunch of these like extra things. I use the black cable because I don't know. But there's also an extra white one. Which no, I actually know why I use it because look at the connector. This one's dead on, like it just goes in. That one goes out of the side, so the stress is kinda mitigated. There's a couple of these. So there used to be these legs right here. Used to be. So you can slap them any way any way you want. I did it this way. I thought that was symmetrically decent enough. I know it, it is symmetrical, trust me, because these are further apart from the middle screw than these. You may think it's not symmetrical, but it is. I think so, at least. Yeah. I ordered another uh, another board quite a while ago, but unfortunately it did not arrive. I wanted to fix my old hitbox, but it did not arrive. Even though it was like a couple of bucks, I didn't really want PS4 functionality. I just wanted a working one, but. Also, if you want comparison, I can show you for comparison to next to each other. Well, the thing is, it's gonna t uh, take up most of the frame, but this is the one with actual sun was. And if I can raise it up a bit, as you can see, this one is quite a bit smaller. And it's also less elevated. So it's way more compact, but this one is like way more loud. Like, it's so, so, like, so much less loud. I can't even, yeah, it's, it's less loud, basically. To the point that this is not even being picked up by the mic. This one is hell, hellish. But it's old-timey sound buttons, which are always good. I, I had it in my mind that I wanted these to be sort of flush and using circles to work, but it's everything that I need.
Nowadays I use the old hitbox, like the storage for <laughs> hitbox part. Alright, be right back everybody. Be right back. I'll leave you with music. 